In this episode, I wanted to show you guys a few interesting and useful gadgets that help you make better video content. Let's kick things off with a trio of devices made by the company named Pixel. First, I like this $40 Finch lavalier microphone that comes with different adapters including lighting, USB Type-C and 3.5mm. I have the lighting version which works with my iPhone without any setup. A simple plug-and-play experience. The mic is sturdy, it is made mostly out of metal, it uses a high-quality braided cable and a metal lighting connector for reliability. I found the sound quality to be really good and it enhances vocals in a way that are clear and pleasant to listen to and it adds some bass to your voice. Here is a quick audio test recorded with the iPhone 13 Pro Max and Filmic Pro app. So this is an audio test with a Finch microphone that I attached to my t-shirt. So this is an audio test, one, two, three, one, two, three. Right now I'm using the iPhone 13 Pro Max to record this video and audio and I'm using the Filmic Pro application. If you want to step your audio game up and you don't want to deal with wires, the Pixel Voical Lark X is a really awesome dual wireless mic solution. First, the entire system comes in this high-quality metal-made case, which doubles as a charger, meaning that the receiver and two mics that sit inside are always charged and ready to be used. LED indicators show the juice left in the battery. The build quality of each item is excellent and they feel quite premium. The built-in rechargeable batteries provide up to 8 hours of operation for the receiver and 4 hours for the transmitters. This system offers a complete solution for recording clear dialogue, interviews and speech with two people talking simultaneously directly into a mirrorless or DSLR camera, an iOS or Android smartphone or a tablet, a laptop or a desktop computer or using the included quarter-inch adapter to a PA system. The dedicated gain buttons on the receiver allow quick and effortless adjustment of the signal level. Each transmitter is equipped with a built-in microphone. The transmitters can be clipped on clothing without having to wire yourself or your talent, offering a true wireless experience. The receiver has an LCD display that shows essential information like battery, signal level, gain, recording mode, and so on. Among other things, you can choose between the regular and noise-canceling recording modes with a click of a button. The Voical Lark X has a lot more features that you can check out on the official website. The sound quality is pretty good overall considering this is a wireless system. Here is an audio test. This is an audio test using Pixel Voical Lark X microphone. So as you can see, I attached the mic right here. This is a wireless lavalier microphone and the receiver is on the camera. So right now I'm using a normal mode and let me switch to the this is the noise cancelling mode. So this is noise cancelling mode. Uh, audio test 1T3, 1T3. Noise cancelling audio test. And this is a regular audio test, regular mode. 1T3, 1T3, 1T3. And this is an audio test using an internal mic of the Sony A7S III. Audio test 1T3, 1T3, 1T3. Audio test 1, 2, 3. The Pocket Light G3 is one of the coolest portable lights you can get and it costs about 70 bucks. It's built like a tank and it uses a unibody metal casing with a heatsink design on the back. The light also has this versatile 360 degree bracket so we can attach the device in a variety of ways or simply use the bracket as a stand. The light also has two clickable control wheels. You can choose from plenty of RGB colors, adjust the hue, saturation, brightness or use exact Kelvin values when you need a warm or cold white light for filming. There are also quite a few preset effects. The light uses high quality LED bulbs with 97 CRI rating and it reaches 1600 lux of brightness. An LED display shows all of the essential information and the light remembers the last setting before you turn it off. It can be charged via USB Type-C port and the battery life is pretty amazing reaching 345 minutes at 50% of brightness. I found this light to be useful for product shots because different colors show different perspectives of the product. 
Overall, the G3 is a really awesome pocket light that I can't wait to use more in my videos. Even though the budget action camera market is pretty crowded, I found the ones made by Wolfang to offer a lot of value for the price. I tested a 60 euro GA100, a 90 euro GA200 and a 76 euro GA300. Keep in mind that these cameras often go on sale and you can get them with a generous discount. Check out the video description for the latest prices and discount codes. All of these cameras can shoot in native 4K resolution but only the GA300 is capable of recording 4K 60fps video. All of the models are made of plastic but the overall build quality is pretty good especially considering the price. However, more expensive models feel a little bit more premium. All of the cameras come with plenty of accessories and with a few batteries. The G100 is the most basic model that has no touchscreen but for most use cases you don't even need it once you get used to it. The GA200 and the GA300 are more expensive but they have touchscreens and more features in a simple to use user interface. The GA200 is my favorite because it has the secondary screen for selfie videos. The GA300 has the same intuitive menu with touchscreen but it can record videos in 4K 60fps which is useful for filming action scenes or slowing down the footage in post. 4K video quality is pretty good on each camera. While the GA100 is more for beginners, the other two cameras produce pretty nice video and you can reduce the shakiness by turning the electronic image stabilization on. If you put the GA300 on a gimbal, you can turn off the image stabilization for better quality video in 4K 60fps mode. While there is some visible noise in the footage and there could be more detail, the video is quite nice considering the budget category. Overall, these Wolfang cameras offer pretty good quality, especially considering the price. Campark V40 is a $110 action camera that has a 2-inch main touchscreen display and the secondary 1.2-inch front screen. The camera comes with plenty of accessories including a convenient dual battery charger and a waterproof case. The V40 has a 20 megapixels Sony sensor, 6-axis gyroscope, Wi-Fi, app support, car mode and other features. On the top we have a mode and a shutter key, on the right there is a power button and on the left there is micro USB as well as HDMI ports that are covered with the flap. The UI of this camera is pretty simple and straightforward and there are plenty of settings to play with. The best video quality setting I suggest you to use 4K 30fps with electronic image stabilization feature on. Even though there is some noise in the video and there could be more detail, the overall video quality is pretty good and electronic image stabilization does a decent job reducing the shakiness. Overall, the Campark V40 is a pretty good action camera with quite a few features and decent image quality for the price. Akaso Brave 8 cannot be called a budget action camera as it costs about 280 bucks but it has quite a few features that are usually found in much more expensive models like GoPro. First, it's got a water resistant body and you can submerge it underwater up to 10 meters without the case. The supplied housing allows you to dive up to 60 meters. The camera also has two displays, the main 2 inches and a secondary 1.2 inches. The camera is well built and it actually feels quite premium. On the top we have a power and a shutter key, on the right there is a mode button and on the left side there is a micro SD card slot as well as USB Type-C port for charging that are covered with a water resistant flap. The camera uses a large half inch 48 megapixel sensor with quad pixels and 9 element glass and you can change the filter. The menu system is more advanced and intuitive than on the majority of budget action cameras and can adjust quite a few settings related to image quality and general settings of the camera. Other key features include 8K time-lapse, 16x slow motion, AI face metering, 4K video recording up to 90 minutes thanks to a large capacity battery and the device ships with a lot of accessories. Image quality is what sets this camera apart from cheaper models. 
The Brave 8 can record videos up to 4K 60fps and it features electronic image stabilization that smooths out the video really well and it provides almost gimbal-like video stabilization. Still image quality is also pretty good but the pictures tend to be a little bit underexposed. On the other hand, that's easily fixable in post. 2.7K 120fps video is useful for slowing down the footage in post but if you want the detail and sharpness, I suggest you to stick to 4K 30 or 60fps video. Overall, the Akaso Brave 8 is an action camera with quite a lot of flagship features and image quality but for a lower price than the competition. Hohem iSteady Multi is a $150 gimbal that can be used with smartphones, action cameras and even with compact cameras that weigh up to 400 grams. It is made mostly out of plastic and metal and the build quality is pretty good. There are quite a few controls that allow you to manually move the gimbal and switch from different pan and tilt axis following modes. You can also use the gimbal as an emergency power bank and there is a quarter inch thread for attaching accessories. The iSteady Multi comes in this travel case with additional accessories like a mini tripod, a phone holder, cables and other stuff. I use the gimbal mostly with a few different smartphones and action cameras. I found the overall performance to be really good and you can get really smooth video even while you are walking. Other key features include quite a few different modes, compatibility with the Hohem app and up to 8 hours of battery life. Overall, the iSteady Multi is a versatile gimbal and if you like shooting videos with your phone, action camera and even a compact camera, this is a pretty nice all-in-one package for the price. So these are the gadgets I wanted to show you guys today. I think that they are useful for video content creation but tell me which is your favorite and why. As always, like the video if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as always, it was Linus, thank you for watching and see you soon.